Hello everyone, welcome to the Electron Flow Academy. So today we are going to discuss about the three phase AC circuit with star connected load. Okay, so uh, we are going to discuss one numerical on the basis of this topic. So numerical is like a balance star connected load of 8 plus J6 ohms. Okay, so this load is of per phase. So this load is connected to a three phase 400 volt supply. Okay, so load is connected in the starred manner. So here find the line currents, power factor, three phase power and three phase volt ampere. So those parameters we need to calculate. Okay, so we know that in the three phase circuit, AC circuit, so the condition for star connected load is that the phase voltage is equal to line voltage divided by root of 3. Okay. So firstly, we need to calculate the phase voltage. Okay. So 400 volt given us is line voltage. Okay. So make sure this. So the phase voltage is equal to 400 divided by root 3. So the VP phase voltage is equal to 230.94 volts. Okay. So firstly, we need to identify which type of voltage is given to us. Okay. Now, secondly, we need to calculate current per phase. Okay. Current per phase. Okay. So phase current is equal to, we know that the phase voltage divided by the phase impedance. Okay. So per phase impedance given us, which is 8 plus j6 okay so from here here the z p is equal to 8 plus j of 6 okay so firstly we need to change this in polar format so this is rectangular given the polar form of that rectangular form is tan at an angle of 36.86 degree okay so this is the ZP. So now the phase current is equal to 230.94 at an angle of 0 degree. Okay, this is the phase voltage divided by impedance per phase. So 10 at an angle of 36.86 degree. Okay, so after solving this, I get the value of the phase current is equal to 23.1 at an angle of minus 36.86 degree. Okay, so we have calculated the phase current. Okay. So uh, the another condition for the star connected load is the each phase current lags the corresponding phase voltage by an angle of 36.86 degree. Okay. So meaning of this each phase current lags the corresponding phase voltage by an angle of 36.86 degree. Okay. And the condition for the star connected load in the case of the currents is line current is equal to the phase current. Okay. So in the case of the star connected load, the line current is same as the phase current. Okay. So next thing is that here we, we have assumed that 
the first phase phase which is a phase okay a phase sorry a phase is our reference phase okay we are assuming that a phase is the reference phase okay and assume the positive phase sequence then phase current or the line current can be expressed as if i write here v of a is equal to we have calculated the phase voltage which is equal to 230.94 at an angle of 0 degree okay this is our a phase then the corresponding current of that a phase is ia equal to i small a okay which is equal to 23.1 at an angle of minus 36.86 degree okay so this is our first line current okay we have calculated the line current first phase line current a phase line current okay next i am talking about the phase b vb voltage so vb voltage is now we know that the balance three phase uh, supply voltage are that each phase is 120 degree apart from each other so if our phase a is at zero degree angle then phase b should be 120 degree apart from the phase a okay so the phase b value is 230.94 at an angle of minus 120 degree so the corresponding current of that phase is i b or i small b which is equal to 23.1 at an angle of minus 120 degree apart meaning 36 plus 120 so 156.86 degree Okay, and now the phase C. Okay, so phase C is equal is equal to now phase C is again one twenty degree apart from the phase B. Okay, so one twenty plus one twenty. Okay, so two thirty point two thirty point ninety four at an angle of minus two forty degree. Okay, so the that corresponding current is I C equal to I small c, meaning the phase current and the line current is equal to again twenty three point one at an angle of one fifty six plus one twenty, meaning negative of two seventy six point eighty six degree. Okay, so this is how we have calculated the line currents. Okay. Next, we need to calculate the three phase power. Okay, so the three phase power is the formula for the three phase power is P is equal to root 3 VLIL cos of phi. Okay, so let's put the values here. P is equal to root 3 into 400. Okay, line voltage given as to 400 volts into we know that the IL and V uh, IP line current and the phase current are same. So 23.1 into cos of phi. Okay, so phi is 36.86. So value of the phi here is 36.86 degree. Okay, so P is equal to now 12805 watts. Or we can rewrite this. 12.805 kilowatt okay so this is the three phase power okay which we have calculated and lastly the in the question they have asked us to find the three phase volt amperes okay three phase volt amperes so three phase volt amperes meaning apparent power okay 
तो थ्री फेस वोल्ट एम्पियर मीनिंग एस अपरेंट पावर द फॉर्मूला फॉर द थ्री फेस अपरेंट पावर इज रूट थ्री वी एल आई एल ओके सो एस इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री इंटू फोर हंड्रेड इंटू करंट ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट वन सो द वैल्यू फॉर द अपरेंट पावर वी गेट हियर इज वन सिक्स जीरो जीरो फोर वी ए और वी कैन री राइट दिस इन किलो वी ए विच इज सिक्सटीन पॉइंट जीरो के वी ए ओके सो दिस इज अवर लास्ट आंसर ओके सो दिस इज हाउ वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड द पैरामीटर्स आस्क इन द क्वेश्चन ओके सो थैंक यू वेरी मच प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल